the Territory Manager contains tools for working with and modifying territory layers. This video begins with a brief explanation of how to use the Territory Wizard to create a territory layer, but you may want to first check out the video on creating territories before viewing the rest of this video. I have an Excel file that contains my customers, their addresses, their sales volume, and the sales territory to which they belong. I'm going to use this Excel file to create a territory layer, and then I'm going to use the tools in the Territory Manager to modify and rebalance the territories, and then finally export those changes back to Excel. I've already used Create a Map Wizard to create a point layer on the map of my customers, making sure to import the data rather than link it. Now I'm going to start the Territory Wizard by choosing Map, New Territory Layer. I want to use the same customer Excel file to create the territories, so I'll choose the second option here, choose the Excel file and the worksheet within that Excel file, and click Next. The settings here are correct, so I will again click Next. I want to balance the territories based on my customer sales, so I'll click here and choose Import Territory Table Fields, choose the second quarter sales field, and click OK. I also want to see the population in each territory, so I'll again click here, When I click Finish, Maptitude adds the territories to my map and opens the Territory Manager. On the Territories tab, you will see a list of the territories in the layer. It also displays the total sales for all of the customers located in each territory. So you can see that the South Territory has the highest sales and the Northeast Territory has the lowest. All of the fields that I chose to track are listed here, so I can also choose to see the population of the territories. One thing you may notice is that some of the territories have some holes in them. The holes are where there are zip codes that were not in my Excel file because there were no customers located there. I'm going to start by fixing the holes in the Northwest Territory. You choose the territory you want to modify either by picking it from the Territory drop-down list or by using the Territory Picker button and clicking on a territory. Notice that the Northwest Territory is now chosen in the drop-down list and highlighted in the list of territories. Use these tools to modify the features in the territories. For example, I'm going to use the Select by Pointing tool and click where the holes in the territory are to select the underlying zip codes. And now click this button to save the change. I'm going to repeat this for the Northeast Territory by choosing it from the drop down list, adding some zip codes to it, and saving the changes, and once more for the South Territory. I'm going to choose the Downtown Territory now and click this button to zoom to the territory. I want to add these remaining empty areas to the Downtown Territory. I don't want to move any zip codes that are already in one of the other territories, so make sure the Empty Areas is chosen in the Select drop-down list. Now I'm going to use the Select by Rectangle tool and drag a rectangle to highlight all of these empty areas. Again, I'll save the changes. Now let's take another look at how the sales vary by territory. I want to adjust the territories so that the sales totals are more balanced. I'll start by moving some zip codes into the Northeast Territory. So I'll choose Northeast from the Territory drop-down list. And I don't want sales territories to overlap, so I'm going to choose any area and prevent overlapping territories here. What this will do now is allow me to add zip codes to the Northeast Territory while simultaneously removing them from whatever territory they are currently assigned to. I'm also going to click the Changes tab so that I can track how the sales totals for the territories change as I move zip codes from one territory to another. Now I'm going to use the Select by Pointing tool and choose some zip codes to move. You can see that the Northeast Territory gains $341,724 in sales by moving this zip code. I'm going to use the scroll wheel on my mouse to zoom out and continue to click on more zip codes to get the Northeast Territory sales more balanced. Now that I have moved some zip codes from the Downtown and South Territories, you can see that the sales totals are more balanced, so I will go ahead and save the changes. Now if I click the Territories tab, you can see that the territories are more balanced. 
I'm going to move just a few zip codes from the Downtown Territory to the Northwest Territory to make those a little more balanced. So I'll choose Northwest Territory, zoom into its border with the Downtown Territory, and move a few zip codes. Now that the territories are more balanced, there's one last thing to do, and that's to update the customers with their new territories. For example, if I make the customer layer the working layer, and use the info tool to click on this customer here, you will see that the territory field still contains the original downtown value, even though that customer is now located in our Northwest Territory. To fix this, I'm going to open a data view of the customer layer. The territory field currently contains the original territory each customer was in. Highlight the field and choose Edit Fill. Choose the Tag method using the Territories layer and Tag with Territory. When I click OK, Mapdatu will compare each customer with the territory layer and fill the field with the name of the territory in which the customer is now located. When I use the Info tool on that same customer, you'll see that the territory is now correct. Now that you have used the Territory Manager to modify the territories, and you have tagged the customers with their new territory assignments, you can export all of this information back to Excel. Highlight all of the districts on the Territory Manager, right-click, and choose Export Territories to Excel. Mapdatu creates a new Excel workbook with several sheets. The first sheet has the sales and population data that I chose to track for each territory. The next sheet lists all of the territories and the zip codes they comprise. This sheet contains demographic overlay information about the territories, including the population, estimated household income, number of households for various income ranges, age, racial distribution, and housing data. And this last sheet is very similar to the original Excel file we used to create the territories, only this one now has the newly revised territory for each customer, along with their latitude and longitude coordinates. And that wraps up this tutorial on using the Territory Manager.